Welcome to this week's hair transplant progress update video. My name is Richard and I'm currently on week 49 after my hair transplant, which I had in October 2019 in Turkey, Istanbul. Welcome to this week's um, hair transplant update video. Uh, you might be wondering why the hell am I wearing a hat? Simple, it is winter, it's getting cold outside. I gotta get up at six and walk my dog, so hats are back in. Um, actually, hats used to be one of the things I used to like when I go outside because as a man with, you know, balding and receding hair, um, hat would be the one thing that would save me from looking bald. So I used to wear them quite a lot. But the thing that really annoyed me about hats at the same time was that as soon as I took them off, my hair would look absolutely terrible. It looked even worse than it looked before because the hat like compresses all the hair and then it looks more bold than it already is. And it just looks really, really terrible. But um, the good thing now is that I can actually wear a hat, take it off and the hair does not look that bad. So check it out. Uh, if I take off the hat, as you can see, um, I'm not pre-staging this, so this is what it looks like. It still looks pretty bad, um, yeah, but <laughs> no way as bad as it would normally look. And actually, if you look close up, it doesn't really shine, shine my scalp through that much, um, given it does a little bit more than normally, but actually it's not that bad at all. Um, so that's one of my positives for this week that I've taken away, given that I've been wearing a lot more hats than normally. Um, and before I get crucified by everyone for wearing a hat, because hats cause hair loss, actually hats, in my opinion, um, on, on the research that I've done, hats don't really cause hair loss. Hats, um, unless you, you, know, you, you wear some sort of airtight hats, um, hats don't actually cause hair loss, or at least they shouldn't. Um, yes, your hair needs oxygen to grow, um, but oxygen is delivered to your hair through um, through your bloodstream to the follicles, so that's how they get the blood to grow. Um, yep, um, hair does also need um, vitamins and stuff that you get from sunlight, so yes, if you constantly wear a hat, it's probably not very good for you, but if you wear a hat near now and then, it isn't actually bad for you. That's just my input on hats. All right, so week 49, this is really, really cool. We've only got uh, week 50, 51, and 52 will be a full year. I can't believe there's only three weeks left until it's a full, uh, one year update. As you can see so far things are looking still okay. I'm, I'm quite happy with the results so far and if at week 52 we look at my video and this is what it looks like, um, I think I'd be quite happy with it. Um, in general, you know, in fact if I tilt my head forwards you will see where the transplanted hair is because you'll see sort of like a darker ring of hair going around. So here you can see right this is the transplant area so that before was bold so now they say that so that is what it all looks like um the other thing i really wanted to show you was um this week what i haven't really done in the past because my hair used to always like stick up in the air but now if i brush it forwards you'll see how little my hair has actually grown but if i really brush it down forwards comb would have probably been better at this age, but I can't be bothered to get one just to do this. All right, so this is how far my hair has grown out. And given that my hair, my forehead is back here, my hairline, natural hairline is up here. Uh, we've got what, like an inch of hair um, grown out, which isn't too bad for me because my hair naturally grows very, very slowly. So that's just my hair. Um, it's always been thin. Uh, nothing new. I don't think transplanted hair is magically going to get thick. Um, I have to work with what I got. <laughs> so, by the way, if you've not done so yet, please don't forget to click the um, subscribe button, enable bell notifications, and that way you won't out miss out on any new videos that I post. 
Um, but that is pretty much it for this week. Join me next week when we'll have a look at my week 50 results, which is actually quite cool because it's around number 50 and it's only two weeks away from the final 12 months. But yeah, I hope you found this video useful. I hope you liked the video. I hope you enjoy the contents. Um, if you have any questions or thoughts, please use the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear what you think. If you like this video, don't forget to click the like button and I will see you guys next week. Bye for now.